The first foot or two of my golf swing, I'm trying to think about being very smooth. If you can start out your swing nice and smooth, the first foot or two, it's really easy to maintain that rhythm, that smoothness, nice and smooth off the ball, and then just I'm just letting it go. Relax. Focus on the target. Low, slow. Try to make a good turn. Staying down through impact. Six foot two and in as good a physical shape as ever. Jim Furyk is an Iron Man. Once criticized for his odd looking golf swing, Jimmy's father Mike stuck to their beliefs and it turned into a prolific career. Just collect himself, compose himself, and execute like he's been doing all day long. Hall of Fame career with a new chapter on the way. Mr. 58 is Jim Furyk. Trying to get his mind around it, Peter. Oh, what have I just accomplished? Yes. A career that included 17 PGA Tour wins and a U.S. Open. Jim Furyk finally has his Tour Championship and $10 million as the FedEx Cup winner. Furyk's kind of sneaky long, Billy Ray. He can get it out there at times. I like it when he actually curves the ball from right to left, and he is sneaky long. It's got to be left. I just don't think he can take it on the same line. He's going up the right. Solid contact. I think it's enough to carry. It just carries up there. What a tee shot there by Jim Furyk. That was outstanding. Most importantly, a career that had limited injury. Let's see how Jim does this. Now granted, like all the Champions Tour golfers, the golf swing is shortened throughout the career, but the signature, the DNA, still remains the same. And we're going to break this down into a couple things. Let's first follow Jim's hand path. So there he is, club shaft parallel with the ground, face looking downward. Now as we get further into the backswing, you'll see the hands start to travel a little bit more upward. And we'll continue to do this. The left arms across the body, the right elbows in behind him. There's an absence of wrist hinging, and certainly an absence of hip rotation. You see there, he's essentially just lifting the arms up into the sky. See how things now go and try and find the right shoulder. So you can see there was inward, there's upward, and now at the top, he's right over his shoulder. Look at the settle down in the knees. He's a tall man. Now as he transitions down, there's the shallowing of the club little further look at that left arms across the body his right elbows almost in behind his body crazy isn't it but watch what begins to happen here as he approaches contact you see those arms are in tight with the body and that club face is lining up the golf ball and Jim hits it squarely every single time now that was the hand path let's see how that influences and what he does to get the club face operational so here I'm gonna draw the pitch of the shaft at address. So now as we start Jim back, same thing, the handle drags inward, he's very close to the ball, he has to turn the hips out of the way. So right here, there's the pitch of the shaft. Now remember that handle travels in, but what he does is he starts to stand the golf shaft upwards into the air a whole lot more. And as the hands begin to find the right shoulder, you see at one stage in the swing, this club shaft is almost pointing directly up at the sky. So there he is at the top. Now the lower body unwinds and watch the magic. See how that shaft starts to lay down. It starts to settle down and watch what begins to happen. Despite all that movement, you see how these lines now are beginning to mirror each other. Look at this club right now. He can follow that thing all the way down to a place at contact where that club shaft is almost identical to where it was at address. There's a whole lot of stuff going on, people, but that is absolutely magnificent. And you can see why Jim is just such a successful and consistent ball striker. A lot of stuff going on, but in the end, he presents that club face back to the golf ball as consistently as anyone in the game. Jim Furyk in eight starts since turning 50. Five top tens, two wins in a second. Won his PGA Tour Champions debut at the Ally Challenge. Talked about his Champions Tour debut. He said, it's like being a freshman in high school and having been homeschooled the previous five years. Good shot there by Furyk, and that's in the proper side of the fairway. 
Jim Furyk on the tee, Billy Ray. Bunkers down the left-hand side come into play, 279, the one on the right, 271. Right down the middle. <laughs> Splits the difference. Here's Furyk with a driver at a dress. Now, unlike most, you can see how the hands are a little in front of the club head. Most folks won't do that. He's a little more hunched over. He's a tall man. But I want you to pay attention to the foot angles. See the trail foot's turned out, the lead foot's turned out. I think that's really helpful to most golfers to do that because those foot positions set up an improved ability to rotate the core back and through the golf ball. Incidentally, back in the day, I felt like Jim shaped shots with foot position. When he tried to fade the ball, that forward foot would turn more out and the trail foot would turn inward. The draw would be the converse of that. So here we are, both feet turned out. That helps the turn, the pivot. Now, as he sweeps the club away, little hover in the club, little shift to the right. Now, watch this relationship here. See the left arm turns into the chest, and that relationship is going to be retained. We turn to the top, the arms raise up. We know how this happens, and you can see the knees change direction, and there's a little squat here, a little syrupy look in the knees, but more about that in a minute. Let's focus on that left arm chest relationship. His lower body leads, he starts to bring the club down and look how that left arm pins against the chest. Now check that picture out right there. There's connection, left arm and chest. And look at how this trail elbow is well in behind his right side. I cannot think of another golfer in the world's game that does that as much as Jim. But what it allows him to do is take this club face right here, which is already pointing at the golf ball, to be propelled basically by the movement of the knees and the rotation of the hips. So watch that bent right elbow as we take him slowly to contact. See that contact? That elbow has not straightened. That trailing elbow over there. Look how the lead arm is still down the left side. Look at this club face. People talk about club face stability and a lack of closure through contact. Jim Furyk is as good as anyone, but you can see how the whole movement is driven by the knees and the pivot, and those elbows basically just hug on his sides. Now the job's done, the ball's left, so as he swings through, you'll see the knees lead, watch the extension of the arms, the momentum of the club just pulls away from him over there, and look at that big extension there. A little old school in the soft syrupy knees, and from there now, he can just continue to swing up into the heavens, balance that follow through, and watch another tee shot right down the heart of the fairway. He's got kind of a fake out move, Billy Ray. He tends to aim a little bit right and then pulls it straight left. And that's just kind of his swing. That's he what does. he does. Just because he turns out and uses his lower body so well, he's able to keep the club in front of him. Kind of like that. That's beautiful. Very, very nice. Hitting fairways and greens and attacking flags. This whole location's out in the open. It's gettable, especially if you're Jim Furyk and you hit short irons the way he does. You can go ahead and just take dead aim. 150 yards, trying to flight it down. And this is a good line here, Lanning. It's enough, it uh, sure is. Yeah, I would say so. Beautiful shot there by Jim Furyk. Jim Furyk now 180 front, 192 hole. Right from the center of the fairway. Jim one birdie. No bogeys on his car today. Asking for it to go. Doesn't need to go much. Really nice shot. Dialed that one perfectly. Here's Jim Furyk with an iron in hand. And before we look into those knees I referenced, I want to talk to you about what a great ball striker Jim is and how he creates shots. He's a shot maker. And it starts with posture. Look at how far back that ball is in the stance. He's trying to flat something down. So don't be afraid to move ball position around. Furyk certainly does, and he's a multiple winner and a major champion. Now, as he starts away, the arm relationship, the signature, the movement of the swing is pretty much the same. But I want you to pay attention to how these knees move. Watch the trail knee moving back is going to drift ever so slightly. And then in transition, you're going to see those knees shift direction, and they're going to look like they're the engine for this entire movement. See the drift in the knees, and there's the shift. One more time, as we take him down to contact, look how far those knees are out in front. Watch the drift of the knees to his right. 
You see how they lead down to the left. And one more time so you can get the rhythm for this. Watch the softness in the knees. There's no violence. It's like they're just sliding back and forth underneath him, helping the pivot and helping him to get those arms all the way back down to the golf ball. So here we are, all the way down to contact. Knees lead, body opens up. And yeah, you got that relationship again where the forearms are right back in front of the body. But you can see here, the engine for this movement is the knee action. And as they drive this way and then turn out of the way, they facilitate that pivot of his body, which supports that arm position. And then from there, watch how he just gracefully pushes up into another balanced follow through. The turning of the body is a function of the knee action underneath. Now, I'm not saying to you, use your knees as much as Jim, but remember, they control what happens. A good golf swing is built from the ground up. It's your Furyk now, just a little wedge in hand. Yeah, a location pretty much out in the open here at 13. It is gettable. Uh, yeah, all over it. Great shot. Furyk's third for 86 yards. Back into the breeze. It just clips it off the top of the grass there. It should come back just a bit. There it is. Lots of spin. This has got a chance. Oh, what a play there. Love the strike there. Takes it just off the top of the grass. Great control over those wedges, says he, Ralph? Yeah, it really does. Jim Furyk with a razor-sharp wedge game. Knocking down flag sticks. Here is Jim Furyk with a wedge in hand, and this video is from about 10 years ago. So a little younger a gym, a little more mobile a gym, but the swing fingerprint still remains the same. The one lesson though is off the down sloping lie, you're gonna see Jim create an environment, even with that knee action, which is going to promote a more down swinging strike. So the ball's back in the stance. As we start him back, you'll see that left shoulder work more down and across. As that happens, that puts more pressure down into that forward leg right there even though the shoulder is lower and the face is a little shut, he is still very much the Jim Furyk we know. As he takes the club all the way to the top, you can see the arms raise up a bit more, but you can see that signature change in direction of those knees. They are changing direction before the club has reached the top. They set up this downswing now. The softness remains, the left side stays low and down, and look at that contact. He has shown up there with a beautifully square and strong lead wrist that's kept that club face right on point. And from there now, the shot is done. All he can do is push up off that forward leg. You'll see some rounding in the knee and then straightening up all the way into that follow through. And there's one thing you can never fault Jim Furyk for, off an uneven lie with a driver in the hand, with a wedge in the hand, whatever. He will always follow through into a balanced finish and that is just the period on the end of a fantastic sentence. Now Furyk there, the short little pitch coming over the bunker. Oh, what a play that is, got a chance. Oh, I wow. guess, just for a tap in. No issues with trees or anything, just has to flight it down. Land it right in there, good shot. Oh yeah, pepper in the pen. Right down the stripe. That was right at it. Well done. Bringing it in there nice and high. Getting let it chase back there. 